Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. Uh, so I have my uh, fragrance empties, what I've been warming, and I think I'm going to split these up because these are maybe two and a half weeks. Um, so quite a lot to get through. And I'm just going to do Scentsy and then I'll do a separate one for all of my fender wax. Um, so let's just jump in with Scentsy. Um, so I warmed through a bar of Hemingway, which um, is from Bring Back My Bar. It uh, looks like 2023. This is kind of like a, to me, like a, almost like a slightly smoky apple spice um, fall scent. Uh, good performer. Went through um, Autumn Road Trip. This is in the current catalog. Some of these bars were getting super juicy. My um, AC actually went out a couple weeks ago. Uh, we are still working through getting that fixed, um, but it happened to go out like the hottest week of the summer. And so I did end up having some bars get a little juicy from that. Um, so thankfully it's cooler today, but Autumn Road Trip is like a fall outdoorsy type scent. It's a little bit fall fruity. Um, just a really good performer overall and love that scent. Just another bar of that. Pink coconut. Um, so this was in the whiff box and this is the hand cream. This scent is very similar to Pink Sands from Yankee Candle. And I actually have a perfume of Pink Sands. Um, it's called, I think, Pink Sandy Beach or something like that. It's from Sassy Girl Aroma. So um, I've been using this kind of like a body cream. And then with that perfume, I'm actually going to reorder another one. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to do two or three of these. Um, with this counting as one of them to get through my bottle of perfume. Um, just because the ounces on the hand cream is not as much as like a body cream. Uh, but this is really nice scent. If you like pink sands from Yankee, you'll like the pink coconut. And then I did a mix of Buzzworthy and Graham Cracker Crunch. So Buzzworthy is like a honey type scent with, um, and then Graham Cracker Crunch is like the peanut butter Graham Cracker. Um, Buzzworthy is a really strong scent and I felt like when I mixed these two together, I did one-to-one -one in the same warmer that, um, it just kind of diluted that Buzzworthy more to like a medium kind of scent throw. Um, so overall together, the scent together was, was a lower scent throw than I wanted. Um, so I guess the outcome of this is if you're not a fan of Buzzworthy and you have a bar, like say from the bring back my bar round that um, you can dilute it to get that strength down if you don't like it. Um, for me, I'm probably not gonna do this mix again. So I worked on um, some honey pear cider. This I had picked up from a recent like clearance flash sale, like bar bundle. Uh, this is no longer in the catalog. It is a really good scent though. You do get like um, like that pear fall cider type scent with this, and it's a good performer. All right, let me pull off some vendor wax. I worked on cranberry muffin. This was in the Bring Back My Bar, I think a couple of rounds ago. Maybe it was the January round um, from 2023 or before, but, um, I do like this scent. It is, um, basically as it sounds, it's like a cranberry muffin. Like if you were in a bakery, what that would smell like scent. All right. I worked on a perfect pumpkin pear. This was also from that clearance. I think that same bar bundle, uh, this scent it's okay. It's almost like they took like fresh pear and they mixed it with like a pumpkin puree or something. Um, 
it's okay to me. The performance was actually decent, uh, but it's not one that I fully enjoy. Caramel Sugar Cone. Um, love this scent. This is one that I lost in my club when I lost my club. So I'm hoping this comes back at some point. It is, it's just a really good like caramel. Um, you get like the waffle, like the waffle cones were baking. Um, it's a good, and it's a awesome performer. It's a really strong thrower. Thunderstorm. Uh, this was an old juicy bar, but um, I warmed this actually in the bathroom. And it's funny because as strong as I think this is, I'm just throwing it in the bathroom. It, it was a good performer. It just wasn't, I thought it was going to waft and it did not. So that was good because the rose in that can be just a bit overwhelming. Okay. Um, oh, this was a nice mix. I don't think I have those or do I? I do. So, um, cocoa butter cashmere. I know this is vendor wax from K's. This is just a really good, it's a bedroom type um, cashmere scent. It's cocoa butter, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka, amber, and musk. It's a gorgeous scent. My son even likes this and he's real picky about his scents. Uh, it's a strong, strong performer. Would definitely repurchase this. But I did mix this with one to one in the same warmer. Pumpkin cashmere just to kind of bring out some of that cashmere. And it did make it more of a, like a bedroom pumpkin type scent. Um, so those were good together. I don't know if you have a cashmere scent to mix with pumpkin cashmere, but give it a try. It actually um, it works really well. All right. Um, mixed in the same warmer. Cranapple Crumble and Three Thumbs Up. So Three Thumbs Up is kind of like a, a bready bakery type scent. Um, I think it's got some like allspice. And then Cranapple Crumble, which is currently available, is like a cranberry, like a sweet cranberry, um, what I think of like a cobbler almost with a crumb cobbler. You got your brown sugar and the crumbs. Um, this was decent. I felt like the three thumbs up probably brought the strength down on the Korean apple crumble. So if I were to do it again, I'd probably do like alternating warmers and just see if that like kind of helps the scents blend more together. All right. Happy birthday. Um, this is just kind of like a marble cake, birthday cake. It's about a medium throw. I know a lot of people love that scent and they rave over it. Um, for me and my home, I feel like it's it's just not the best. It's not something I'd probably repurchase. Porch pumpkin, I really enjoyed this. I think this was in that same bar bundle um, from that clearance. It is really good. It is... Um, it's a nice pumpkin. It's got some spices, but not like too spicy. And it was a good performer in my open concept. So would definitely purchase that again if that's available. Um, and then I also took porch pumpkin and I alternated warmers with um, caramel chestnut. So that was nice as well. So you got like a um, caramel chest, like it's caramel chest, like chestnut, smoky, and then you got that pumpkin alternating, just a good fall mix together. Um, I'm so happy I still have quite a bit of my brick left um, because I did not club this and I'm hoping this comes back at some point. This was a holiday brick a couple of years ago. I'm actually going to slide that up with my bricks. All right, um, Huckleberry Apple Pie. If I love Huckleberry scents um, in Vendor Wax, I found I'm not such a fan in the Scentsy Wax with Huckleberry, but um, this is just like a, 
huckle if you know what huckleberry smells like and then um it is like it's like that pie filling not necessarily the pie crust with this but you get like the um, cinnamon apple huckleberry pie it's probably about a medium performer and then this i did together was really good um rum pum plum which returned this year and it's funny i think i've said this before this is just kind of like um an okay bar to me but i've literally reached for this bar and warmed it like i've warmed through all the bars that i have of it and um where other bars i just sit on so i do like it and it is a decent performer and it is great i think for the fall winter it's um it reminds me of fall completely, but I mixed one-to-one -one in the same warmer, King Cake. King Cake is like a buttery um, cake. It was part of the Mardi Gras collection. It is a great performer. So good. Uh, mixed one-to-one. -one. It just made it more like a plum bakery type cake scent. Really good. Recommend that if you have those. All right. Um... I saw this on one of the Facebook groups and this was really good. Um, so they recommended to mix, and this is a vendor wax with a Scentsy, uh, Beach Nights with, uh, it's actually Pharmacist Daughters Beach Nights, um, which a Beach Nights blend in vendor wax is toasted marshmallow, s'mores, sea salt breezes and then um, graham cracker crunch. So you have like the marshmallow s'mores and then um, graham cracker crunch, one-to-one -one in the same warmer. It was, it was really good and fantastic, a good performer. I would definitely do this again. Okay. This performance was really good on this one. So I did one to one in the same warmer of Gimme Candy and Graham Cracker Crunch. So again, using up my Graham Cracker Crunch st stash with the peanut butter Graham Cracker Crunch and Gimme Candy, which is like a butterscotch um, candy corn type um, scent. Really good. So if you have those two, I would recommend mixing those. did that with something uh spooky but sweet this is the um scent of the month for september i absolutely love this scent if you like like gimme candy um this is basically that scent but with like the clove and like a clove and cinnamon type spice add um this is a really good performer for me absolutely love this it's club worthy and I did actually pick up more on my in my order on the first. Um, so that is a winner for me for scent of the month. I worked on cashmere corduroy, uh, which is in the catalog now. It's just a nice bedroom scent. It's um, definitely more comforty, cozy, like almost like a cashmere sweater. Um, so love this for the bedroom in the winter and fall, like fall winter i know i worked on snow white um, but i like to alternate warmers with rose girls wonder flowers and i was trying to see if i could find that in here and actually did um so this is a vendor wax wonder flowers is jasmine pink dragon fruit ocean air hibiscus and tonka um beautiful and alternating warmers they mix really well together. I would say the scents are probably, um, this is just a little more like, I think Jasmine forward. And then this, the Snow White is, it's very floral, but it's like a pretty floral. And just the two of them together are fantastic. So this mix was really good. Um, I know this is coming back, the Harry Potter Wit and Wisdom. 
This is one of those unique scents. Um, it's definitely club worthy for me. It's it's leather, like leather bound books in a library. A lot of vendor wax has the library scents, but um, this is Scentsy's tried it and it's fantastic. It's a strong performer. It's a great mixer. And um, I feel, I like mixing the this leather scent with um, sweet scents, really sweet scents. So Cotton Candy Tales, which is one of my favorite scents. It's like a cotton candy. Um, you probably heard me say this before, but it's like going to the fair and they, they're making the cotton candy and you smell that and then you get a, a smell of that um, spun sugar that's kind of burnt in the cotton candy machine. It's really good. Um, really good performer, but one to one in the same warmer. This was fantastic. Um, it's something about this leather that mixes with the real sweet. It's great. I also mixed um, Gimme Candy with Buzzworthy. Um, so again, this is like a honey scent um, with Gimme Candy, which is the sweet candy corn. And that did really well together. Um, one to one in the same warmer. So again, if you're looking to use up that Buzzworthy, give it a little something sweet with the Gimme Candy. I worked on my Wally bar. Um, this is one I don't know if that will ever return, but if it does, it is a little juicy. It's just um, fresh, clean, earthy, outdoorsy. Love these type of scents. This one I would definitely club if it were to come back. I don't know that they're doing anything new for Wally, so I doubt we'll see it again. Cauldron Cakes. Uh, from the Harry Potter Honey Dukes collection. Uh, this is a, probably a medium performer. If it was stronger, I think I would like this more. Like it would be a, like a club worthy scent, but it is nice. Um, again, it's a medium throw. It's just a really good kind of like fall bakery type scent. And then um, Starburst Sky worked on that. I know I had to mix that with something, but I cannot remember what that was. So we're just going to leave it at that. This is, um, was in the spring summer catalog. It's just like a smoky, real smoky bedroom type scent. If you've ever smelled like Ariana Grande's cloud perfume, it smells just like that. Uh, vanilla bean buttercream, which I've been holding on to because I knew I mixed this with something. And I just found it. So this is a brick. You probably see all my other brick of the um, caramel chestnut. This is um, vanilla bean buttercream, which is available in bar size. Uh, but you can actually get this through Scentsy Club if you did not know. Um, you can do a one in and out Scentsy Club if you want some of these bigger sizes. They're nice um, to have, especially if like you like to do mixes or you really like a scent and you want quite a bit. This is equal to about five and a half bars. So it's a really good deal. But I warmed um, vanilla bean buttercream and um, this Pro province. I know there's a way to pronounce that, lavender. This was the scent of the month, I believe in July. It's just a really nice lavender scent. And then the vanilla bean buttercream gave it that like creaminess. That was really good. If you want to get like a buttery cream to your lavender, mix that with vanilla bean buttercream. So right now my car, um, in my Scentsy Air, um, I have Spooky But Sweet going, and then I did have vanilla barnwood, which I had from last year. This one's completely out, but this one still has a little bit of scent. I just popped two in for my car freshener, but I'm loving this scent. Spooky but sweet. I would, um, and it's good in my car right now for September. Harvest Blessings. Uh, this is wasn't my favorite. I got this in a bar bundle, but it's just like a typical to me 
harvest um, like a fall scent. Like you would smell this if you went into a craft store. Um, it does lean a little bit soapy to me though. I mixed in alternating warmers, uh, white peach and cranberry and sparkling spice citrus. This was really nice. Um, so both of these are new scents this year. The um, white peach and cranberry, to me, it reminds me of like a January, like New Year's kind of scent. Like you popped open some kitty wine or even like made some mimosas or something. And then um, the sparkling spice citrus, it's just a good like orange, sweet orange. It's sparkling mandarin. Mandarin and I have a love-hate relationship. I either love it or I hate it. In this instance, I love it. This has black currant, raw sugar cane, and clove bud. I don't get the clove in this, um, but I think it's what kind of makes it a little more fall. So mixing the two, um, like I said, I did alternating warmers. It gives kind of like an airy, fresh, kind of orange, white the, with the white peach and cranberry, like that scent with the um, fall orange. And it kind of gives you both the best of maybe like a spring, fall type thing like that. And that might be it for Scentsy. Oh, I found another one. Toasted Marshmallow. Oh, I don't know if this bar is old, but um, I got it in October of 23. I mixed it with um, cotton candy tails and it was horrible. It smelled so bad. I had to pull it out of the warmer. You would think like toasted marshmallow with like a cotton candy would go well. Um, and then I mixed it with something else and it did better, but those two together were just horrible. Do not do that. But um, I think this is it for toasted marshmallow. I'm hoping to see that back at some point. And that's it um, for my Scentsy warming. Let me know what you've been warming, any mixes. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.